Hello again, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph coming to you from Praise Christian Center World Outreach in Channel View, Texas. The uh, phone number here is eight is I'm sorry, 281-457-5683. That's 281-457-LOVE. So give us a call. Let us know, hallelujah, that you're enjoying this uh, podcast. Let us know if you have prayer needs and so forth. We want to help to meet those needs as much as we possibly can. The Lord our God is a faithful God, he gracious, he is good, and he is kind, and he does great things on our behalf. We meet here on Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m., and I want to take this opportunity to invite you to be a part of our Sunday morning worship. I tell you, your life will be turned around. You'll just be going higher and higher in the joy with God. And because of that, I want you to, again, remember what kind of times we're living in. We're living in dark times. There's no need in denying it. We are actually living in the last days. Well, I will say not the last, but the end times. We're living in the end times. And because we're living in the end times, many things are happening that the Lord has spoken already that would happen, and all these things affect us all. So we thank God, hallelujah, for his word. We thank God that he ministers to us and brings comfort to us. I want you to listen to these words here. Hallelujah. Now, I want to remind you, I am reading from the New Century Bible. And it says, I pray that God, who gives hope, hallelujah, will fill you with much joy and peace while you trust. While you do what? While you trust in him. Wow. That word right there is a powerful word. While you trust in him. One of the things that we have to remember is that we have to overcome and conquer fear because fear, watch this, fear will cause you to stand still. Fear will cause you to flee even when nobody is chasing. Fear is a terror. Fear is a torment. And we want to get rid of fear and keep our trust in the living God. And then it says, then your hope will overflow by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Then this is this is important. In this day and time, like never before, we're going to have to make priorities. We're going to choose things and make sure we're choosing the right way, the right thing to do, because this is what God's word says in the book of Romans, the 14th chapter. And again, new, new century version. In the kingdom of God, eating and drinking are not important. The important things are living right with God, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Anyone who serves Christ by living this way is pleasing God and will be accepted by other people. So let us try to do what makes peace and helps one another. I want to I want to, I want to reiterate something here out of this passage of scripture. It says that the important things are living right, hallelujah, living right with God and in peace. But here's here's another thing it says in the kingdom of God, eating and drinking is is not important. Amen. Of course, it, we have to have food and drink. Don't 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 take it like that. But it's not the highest priority. The priority is living for God, living right before God. As a matter of fact, one scripture uh, in the scripture talks about the fact when Jesus had not eaten and the disciples uh, came to him and they had recognized the fact that he hadn't eaten and they wanted him to eat. And Jesus said, my bread, watch this, is the will of my father to do the will of my father. That's the mindset that we all should have. Hallelujah. I care.